Notts Outlaws ensured a place in the quarterfinals as they made it five wins from five completed games after beating Middlesex by 49 runs. This was the visitors to Lord's ninth win in a row in all competitions and it was one that was inspired by an extraordinary career best one day innings from opener Ricky Vessels. While none of the other members of the top six made it into the 20s, Vessels blasted a brilliant hundred to ensure that his team will again be part of the knockout stages of the Royal London One Day Cup. Last year's beaten semi-finalists who won the competition the previous year in its 40 over format have had an easy ride so far. But this time their batting card was dominated for the most part by one man. Vessels didn't strike his first boundary until his 37th delivery. He never looked back after that, passing a 50 off 64 balls and then really kicking on with some incredible shots. His 100, his first in a not shirt in this format, was reached in the 34th over with his 5th 6. Another amazing stroke with a total on 167 for 5. He needed 100 deliveries to get to three figures and it also struck nine fours in what was a sensational century from the 29-year-old who was also keeping in this contest. He was finally out for 132 off 118 balls, his runs being made out of a score of 206 for six and then his work was backed up by Stephen Mullaney who made 51 and Luke Fletcher who hit an important 39 off 29 balls as the Outlaws scored 295 for 9 from their 50 overs, Oli Rayner with career best figures of 4 for 35. Middlesex made a good start to their reply through Sam Robson and Davi Milan, who opened up with a stand of 71 in 15 overs, and with the informed Nick Gubbins also making 45, this looked as if it would be a thriller, as the home team at one point got to 152 for 1 after 28 overs, 145 more wanted from 22. It was the 29th over which saw the game turn. Gubbins mishit Brett Hutton to Brendan Taylor at mid-wicket. While three balls later, James Franklin, trying to get off the mark, was superbly run out by Michael Lum's direct hit. With the required rate up to more than eight, with 13 overs remaining, the visiting spinners then took over. Imran Tahir getting the ball rolling for his team by having Robson caught in the deep by Jake Ball after making a list day best of 88. Tahir ended with figures of 3 for 38, leaving it to Samit Patel to finish the game off with three wickets in nine deliveries to end with 3 for 45. Middlesex simply ran out of steam towards the end of their chase as they were dismissed in the 48th over for 246 to lose for the fourth time and to almost certainly end their own chances of qualifying for the quarters. Knots are in unstoppable form right now and they took this game by 49 runs to stay top of Group B and to almost confirm a home tie towards the end of this month. On this form, no side will fancy playing them in the last eight.